Britney Spears' father breaking his decade-long silence about his relationship with his daughter, as well as that controversial conservatorship, calling it a possible lifesaver. Britney Spears' father, Jamie Spears, spoke out publicly for the first time in over a decade, over a year after the singer's conservatorship ended. In a candid interview, Jamie said he openly addressed the court order and defended his role during his daughter's 13-year conservatorship. He also said he doesn't know if she would be alive without it. Senior Spears insists he did what was best for his daughter, whom he cares for very much, but also accepts her recent behavior may be down to someone else, most likely her husband. So, what else did Jamie talk about? Let's find out. In November 2021, an Ellen judge granted a petition to terminate an arrangement Britney had with her father during a hearing that lasted less than 30 minutes. This came after emotional testimony from the pop singer that summer, where she claimed the conservatorship was abusive and wanted to end it. Following the testimony, Britney was allowed to hire her own attorney for the first time, which led to an investigation of the alleged abuse. Then, after more than a decade of the hashtag Free Britney movement and years of fans speculating that she was unhappy, the singer was freed from the court order. Now, the baby one-time hitmaker leaves with her husband, model Sam Isgari, in Los Angeles. In April 2022, she announced she was expecting her first child with Isgari. The following month, the singer revealed that she had had a miscarriage. She also has two sons, Jaden and Preston, with ex-husband Kevin Federline. Her father's latest confession also hinted at Sam taking advantage of her daughter. Not everybody's going to agree with me, Jamie Spears said. It's been one hell of a time, but I love my daughter with all my heart and soul. Where would Britney be right now without that conservatorship? And I don't know if she'd be alive. I don't. The father said he isn't going to paint no pretty pictures, but that the court order protected Britney during the difficult times. For protecting her and also protecting the kids, conservatorship was a great tool. Without it, I don't think she would have got the kids back, he added. But Jamie, despite saying she loves and will always support her daughter, hasn't publicly accepted or even embraced Britney's husband Sam, fearing that the man was out to take advantage of her daughter. The couple, who began dating in 2016, went in a private ceremony in Los Angeles, which was not attended by Britney's sons or her family. While preparing for their wedding, her fiancé, Sam Asghari, reportedly made demands regarding their prenuptial agreement that has fans thinking he may be using her for her money. Relationships that involve significant or even uncomfortable age gaps are nothing new in the entertainment industry, which is perhaps why no one seems to bat an eyelash over the fact that there's a 13-year age difference between Britney, who was born on December 2, 1981, and Sam, who made his way into the world on March 23, 1994, but Senior Spears feels his son-in-law settled for her daughter because of her fame and money other than love. The age thing doesn't seem to bother Britney, as she once admitted during her I Am Britney Jean documentary that sometimes I feel like I am 20 and sometimes I feel like I am 50. Britney's more than decade-long conservatorship was a heavyweight for the singer to bear. But in her corner for the last several years was Bo Samasgari, who wholeheartedly believed she would triumph in the case against the wishes of her father, Jamie. It's amazing for me to feel the love for her and for her to see how many people love her because of the love that she gave other people, he told media outlets at the time. They're just giving it back to her, Sam added that her celebrity wife inspired him through all of it, and he was beyond thrilled for her. On the day Britney's conservatorship was terminated, Sam took to Instagram with a bright pink image reading Freedom. In his caption, he wrote, History was made today. Britney is free, with a heart emoji at the end. A source told us in June 2021 that Sam had been a huge support for Britney throughout the legal battle, even down to making sure she kept her routines like eating right and exercising. Earlier in 2021, he said that he was looking forward to having a regular life with Britney after the conservatorship ended. But it seems, from the fans' perspective and now of Jamie, that Sam was merely interested in swindling the singer's millions. Currently, Jamie Spears leaves with his other daughter, Jamie Lynn Spears, in rural Louisiana. He told our sources that he has to be careful what he says because he doesn't want to cause her daughter any heartache. I miss my two boys really, really bad, Jamie said, referring to Britney's two kids. You know, we were very, very close. They were around that age where you could start having a good time with them, but they were developing a mind of their own. God makes things happen for a reason. I don't know what that reason is, but it's been a tough three years without them. The family's a mess. All we can do is keep praying. Britney's access to her two sons was also part of the conservatorship. Although her ex-husband Federline was initially granted full custody of them, Jamie Spears said he worked out an arrangement with Federline so they could spend time with their mother. They didn't miss time with their mother. They didn't miss time with their father. Not many people knew that. The main purpose was to get Britney back with her kids in a comfortable relationship, he said. My relationship with Kevin gave them a sense of peace and of protection. 
Kevin will tell you this too, it was us who raised the kids. I just did what I was supposed to do or felt like I needed to do. Jamie also claims the conservatorship helped build his daughter's finances because she was broke and had no money whatsoever. My understanding of a conservatorship is to help someone regain their life and return back to society and to be able to live normally. He added, I want to say that I made a difference. There were a few people behind me that really helped bring it to a point where we could help her. But from an outside perspective, many disagree. In January 2019, the singer canceled her second planned Vegas residency amid a high a few months later, she entered a psychiatric facility and fans soon began to speculate that her father had her admitted against her will. The hashtag Free Britney movement also claimed the conservatorship was restricting the singer. All I can say is that most people don't have a clue what the truth is, Jamie Spears said in response to the allegations. Her lawyer doesn't have a clue what the truth is. The media has not heard the truth. They've heard the allegations from Britney. I don't mind taking that beating because I know it's not true and because I don't want to start something else. For my daughter to end up going further down the hole than she had been. Britney's father and mother, Lynn, divorced in May 2002. The singer divorced Federline in 2007. Her public behavior after that included shaving off her hair, hitting a photographer's car with an umbrella, and being admitted to the hospital for substance abuse. That's when what was supposed to be a temporary conservatorship was established and made permanent later that year. It was split into two parts, one on Britney's estate and finances, the other on entertainment decisions. Jamie was appointed to handle both, receiving $16,000 per month as compensation. The conservatorship period saw Britney releasing four albums, doing three world tours, and staging a two-year residency in Las Vegas, which helped rebuild her fortune. During one of the many court hearings, Britney claimed she was afraid of her father, was forced to go on tour and into rehab, and take psychiatric drugs. She was also not allowed to remove her IUD. But despite struggling to make her relationship with her father work, Britney's marriage to Sam started on a wrong footing from day one. For starters, her two children did not attend the wedding. Multiple celebrity guests attended the ceremony at Britney's home in Thousand Oaks, California, including Madonna, Paris Hilton, and Drew Barrymore. Her ex Jason Alexander, who was famously married to the pop star for 55 hours in 2004, was arrested after he live streamed himself crashing the venue. Britney Spears' parents, Jamie and Lynn Spears, along with her younger sister, Jamie Lynn, were also not included in the celebration. Sam's beef with Senior Spears started way back during the court battle, and it appears it won't cool down anytime soon. In February 2020, 21, the fitness coach said in a statement, I have always wanted nothing but the best for my better half and will continue to support her in following her dreams and creating the future she wants and deserves. I am thankful for all of the love and support she is receiving from her fans all over the world and I am looking forward to a normal, amazing future together. A day later, Sam doubled down on his statement on his Instagram story, writing, Now it's important for people to understand that I have zero respect for someone trying to control our relationship and constantly throwing obstacles our way. Without mincing words, he added, in my opinion, Jamie is a total, well, you now understand why the two can't eat from the same plate. So, what next for Britney's career? Let's wait and see. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye.